Enda Suba Oloshalang. Welcome to Mkaulele TV Kenya. I am Nasha. Well, today I'm going to tell you a story about the Akamba people. Akamba people that are in Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, and some in Paraguay. Well, there are so many stories wadao kuhusu hawa watu waraitwa Akamba. <laughs> One that really find you funny. Kuna wale wana believe wali tengenezwa na Mungu uh, who they call Ngai. Ngai created a man and woman. Alafu akafungua heavens. Akawaekelea kwa some hills huko Mboni, Bona na Bibi. Alafu akawa bless na ngombe. So apparently this story hata ukienda huko Mboni Hills bado utapata hizo footprints za ngombe na za Mr and Mrs Kamba. Well, then kuna wale wanasema how Kamba people God after me drop wale Kamba the the Kibeti na the guy Kamba alikasirika na wao. So akanyesha akafanya kunyeshe kuka flood kuka flood. And then huku chini si unajua zile anthills uh, vichugu I think kukatoka another couple a man and a woman. I know this is funny but yes. So wale walitoka huku chini walikuwa as a married couple wao waliblesiwa na wasichana. Alafu wale walitoka mbinguni wao waliblesiwa na watoto vijana. And then wakaoana. Hao watoto wasichana na wale wavulana wakaoana na waka create the Kamba community. And then at some point God atiyakubambika na wao akakosa kukwenda kiangazi ma locust. Sijui kani wasem na joi mambo ya wakamba na hizi ma locust, ma grasshoppers, yes. Akazikos ikabidi wakwe scattered. So that is how the Kamba wali scatter from Bone Hills. Wengine wakaenda makweni, kuna wale walienda Kitui, I know Kitui right? Alafu kuna wale walibaki macha. Kuna hiyo story. And then kuna ile story nyingine yenye tunajua, the one that we've all maybe studied. Ile ya the Kambas wametoka bado Mount Kilimanjaro. You know, bado ni Bantu speakers. Well, kuna vile tunaboga, all Bantu speakers walitoka Central Africa. Well, as I was doing my research, I came to just realize story yao inaanzia Mount Kilimanjaro. So we'll start at Mount Kilimanjaro and I take you through the whole story of the Kamba people. So don't go anywhere. As you can see, our episode today is being taken at a Fisherman's Lounge. It's in Kitengela, Wigai Road, uh, around 3 kilometers from Kitengela town. Ukisha tu pita yuko CV on your left. I think you are Rufia Savaki itaku welcome mahali. So guys, they have ambient um, a place that is just cool. You can listen to your rumba, enjoy your fish, and you can listen, uh, kitaka, you can have a glass of wine. Let's take a break and when we'll be right back, I'll take you through the whole story of the cover people. Aya. Welcome back. So our story today takes us to Kamba origin. Uh, the year is 1300 AD. There's this wonderful couple, Uko, Mount Kilimanjaro. Kamba na Kibeti. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. So Kamba na Kibeti, wao walikuwa tu apo Mount Kilimanjaro. Wameona wa settle together and they begin a family. Well, kulikuwa bado na hizo unakumbuka i had said there are so many origins about the kamba we utapiki ile kufurahisha but our story goes to according to what we have all maybe gone through in school so kamba na kibeti wakiwa kwa slopes huko wakaamua let's begin a family watu wakaoana blessings zikaanza katika hiyo harakati yao ya kukaa huko juu ujue kulikuwa bado na watu wengine you know neighboring countries kulikuwa nini nini Wakamba walikuwa very good traders. I think you've all maybe heard that huko kwa history books. So walikuwa ni wasiwa kutrade vitu kama honey, ni wale wasiwa kutrade slaves. <laughs> yeah. Walikuwa very good, walikuwa wana trade slaves, kulikuwa na mambo ya honey, kulikuwa na mambo ya beadwork. Of course not the beadwork that I'm wearing, eh? Lakini Kambas also had beadwork. Kamba na Kibeti walika wakaza life yao and they were blessed. Well, as we all know, ki Africa kuna zile blessings zingine ni blessings alafu kuna blessing. These guys were blessed with a son. Son number 1, his name was Makau. 
was just born and then there was celebration he bado hii time atakuwa kuna ilo ile ati kusema oh mimi ni mkamba wa wapi nini nini bado alikuwa moja but population na inaendelea ku gain kamba na kibeti wanaendelea ku blessiwa na watoto na watoto na watoto i don't know if you guys know that kuna subclans za wakamba yes apparently 25 14 extremely extremely active and big alafu hizi zingine ni minor yes sasa wakamba wetu hawa kibeti na kibeti na na kamba wali blessi wana makao makao alizaliwa at a very uh, morning hours roja zile morning hours kusabu wakamba vile wanani mwatoi wao kulingana na time yenye umezaliwa na vitu mingi zinginezo haya jamaa aka grow But vile kunaendelea kukua hao jamaa wakaona around 15th 17th century hapo eh hey, walikuwa wamekaa mali moja sana wakaona ai hapana let us start kwenda chini hivi wakaanza kuteremka 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 kidogo kidogo hivi wanakutana na waembu wakikuyu wameru eh hey, wakiendelea tu kuskata 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 into nao mahali wengine wao wameseto Makao ali, aliendelea ku grow jamaa akafika age nyingine tu hata yeye hapo akaona eh hey, hata yeye anataka kusettle. He, mimi sijui kama hiyo time kuliko ganele ya kuita watu pss, pss, ama kunaendaga aje. But makao akizunguka tu ziara ziara zake, he kidogo kidogo akaona mrembo fulani. You know, kitambo wakamba walikuwa wanaenda hizi butter trade na wa Michikenda, wa Kikuyu, wa Masai, Swahili's, Arabs, hao ndio wasi walikuwa na trade nao. Walikuwa ngana zile um, nini za hani zilikuwa gazine kwa in some kinaka ki, ki, ki barrel i don't know how that was made but hiyo time kulikuwa na barrel za hani walikuwa wana trade slaves vile nilikuwa nimesema kulikuwa yani na a lot of na makao alikuwa pro unaona ule mse wa biashara ule mwenye unafa he was a to go to person makao was well established kwa market alikuwa anajulikana so kila mwanamke hapo alikuwa anamwangalia zile za eh itakuwa lini kwa nini kesho you know so Makao katika harakati zake ametulia amechila na angalia angalia vile kutaenda by the kamba is also head kettle so kulikuwa na hiyo market ya, ya mangombe so akaona mrembo mahali eish umsara nafikiri alitari hivi heartbeat ka eh the rest ikaongezeka mudeu was also there helping the parents to sell kuonana hivi na hivi eh makao akaona hii story hizi shi hapa jioni after amemaliza kazi zake zote Mudeu ameona makao na makao ameona mudeu. Eh, hey, hii lingoja tu mpaka jioni ifike hivi. Jamaa akaenda kwa babake. Hey, dad, kuna vile, kuna vile roho yangu leo imesimama. Kuna msichana mahali niliona na huo ndio ninataka kuoa. Sasa kwa wakamba wazazi wasipokutafutia mtu wewe unaweza endo uambie. Lakini wao ndo watajua vile kutaenda kwa sababu kuna zile vitu they look at they look for a girl who's beautiful yes but you have to be hard working you're good kwa mambo na shamba na kwa sababu ya mambo ya trade na trade lazima pia you're very good at bid work you know stuff like that you can manage you know to keep your home nini nini ah babake kuona yenyewe ukijana ako serious akaamua eh let's go mzee akachukuana na the brothers wakaenda mpaka kwa kina familia kina mudeu kidogo kidogo akakaribishwa Eish, mzee akasema eh dogo, tunajua tu vile eh, yule African father zee, bari ya mzee mzuri. Ah, kijana wangu mahali kidogo aliona msana wako mrembo na tumekuja kujisema ndio ujue intentions zetu. Well, that was a good one. I mean, that's how we should go. Kwa sababu yao at least si planned. Unajua kuna zile unaplaniwa marriages, kikamba pia walikuwa na plan yao si, but huyu aliona na akapenda. Na mzee pia au kata roho ilikuwa imekubali ameti well jamaa after my malizana na hiyo ikakuwa warudi nyumbani they have already said the intentions in kamba once you talk to the uh, in-laws to be sasa mnarudi home waanze kuambia zile vitu wanahitaji uh, kama rurashio you know the kuambia maana mambo ya bride price ni nini but he bado hawaj accept ni wewe peke yako ndio utaleta Ah jamaa wakarudi nyumbani wakaenda kujipanga. So kikamba nilikuja kulearn kuna vitu tatu muhimu sana lazima ufanyiwe kabla waamue wewe ndio unaoa ama kuolewa. Kuna mbuzi wadau three goats. Mbili shi na moja hii. 
Okay. Unajua mimi kitabu nilikuwa nafikiria gambuzi zote za wakamba ni black. Well, I don't know. So, kina makao wakaenda wakajipanga panga wakaleta zile mbuzi tatu. Hizi mbuzi zikiletwa kwa kwa kina Modheu lazima zikuje na some leather uh, kind of strap, some altar like um kikitu imetengezwa na ngozi ina tumanishwa nazo. Kitu ya kwanza, ile mbuzi ya kiume ikifika tu kwa hiyo boma hivi na au majamaa wanaichinja. This is to say now we the yo yo tu kumwagia damu. Now we are ready to listen to you. Tuambie unataka aje. Hiyo ndo step number one. Hizi zingine mbili ni zao za kukip. The other thing, unakumbuka kale ka strap, kale ka skin, ka ngozi kale kale. Ikirudishwa kwa kina baba wale ambao walituma as it says akina Mudeus family will be sending it back to akina Makaos family that means hiyo isha happen hiyo ni tick yes so wao after mbuzi imechinjwa waka celebrate na kale kangu nini kangozi kakarudishwa eh tayari hiyo tulikuwa naambia Makao kumeingiana kumeivana this this was now a marriage just about to happen well in Cumberland Some of these dowry prizes vary. Kuna ule ile tu kitu standard that I came to know is the three goats. That is very standard. And then now the numbers za ngombe it is up to you. Vile mume ka chini mka agree hiyo ni juu yenu. Kuna wale watalipa ngombe tano hivyo hivyo hivyo. And as we know right now these things are converted to cash. But the three goats mm-mm, never cash. Hizo lazima upeane vile ziko. <laughs> ah jamaa at least waliangukia. These people were not harsh on them when they agree like okay sawa leteni ngombe tano sasa zile buzi zilishafika you know haya jamaa wakarudi nyumbani makao unajua bado wako rajina kwa soko ni nini au kwanza kutafuta mangombe zile smart smart unajua hizo time akuko ati udapeleka ati sijui kasha ama nini ah wamesema ngombe tano ni ngombe tano majamaa wamejipanga ametafuta zile ngombe poa kabisa zenye yako nazo huko ndio hao wajamaa wanaenda kupeleka Well, lazima kupeleko kapombe. Kapombe kawa kama kanaitwa kalubu. Yes, that one. Kwa ndo. Lazima mpeleke kalubu. Lazima mpeleke zile ngombe mlitishwa na lazima pia mpeleke asali. You know, kambas is you know, hata I think hata mpaka saizi bado wao ni wasi wale wanyuki nyuki ni nini so their honey is really good. Then it was pure. Unajua siku hizi sali labda ni bonoko I don't know. But lazima upeleke asali ile kalubu na sasa zile ngombe zikapelekwa. Hiyo siku zilipelekwa tu hivi. Unajua hizo siku hakuna sijui sijui sasa tena muende muanze sijui kupanga sijui kununua sijui manguo ni nini. Ah ah. Same day kumechinjwa kingombe. This particular day. Oh, before I forget. I forgot to mention that. Unaona ile mbuzi yenye ilipelekwa ikachinjwa. Sasa ile damu ilimwagika hivi hapo chini. Unajua wana wanangoja ile tu time ilikatwa hivi alafu ikamwaga hiyo damu that means mudeu no more turning back one two hii mbuzi yenye inachinjwa ni uncastrated uwezi peleka yenye iko castrated no back to where we were hii ndume ambayo ndio inachinjwa siku ya wedding sasa hiyo nayo lazima iko castrated it has to be a bull it has to be castrated i still don't really know what it symbolizes but well That's how it was. Haya. Ngombe imechinjwa, sherehe ndio hiyo. Kwa kikamba kuna ngoma wao uimba zinaitwa kilumi. It is in four categories. Kuna kilumi sad, kuna ya sherehe ya circumcision, kuna ya marriage, iko hivyo na ya yani ziko nne. So hapa ni ya marriage, sherehe, 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 kikamba, 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 kikamba. Eish. Ngoma ilichapwa kuchapwa. Well, walipatiwa blessings na wakaambiwa sasa ni kwenda kuendaga. Wacha ni kushow. Hapa sasa ile kuna hiyo sherehe ya yeah? you know sasa the boys wanakuja wanaambia hey, hey, umeweza ume nini? Uko home, mwalimu wao walitoka. Uko ni kubaya. Uko ni sad music. Iko tu chini. Wanaendaga kuna wale madema ambao ni age wake walienda kuimbia the parents. Wanaenda kuimbia a sad song kuonyesha one of us has gone. Like it's not, uko sasa mali mwenye walitoka si ile music yenye iko huku kwingine a a uko ni different halafu huko kwa boys eh yeah? wewe well, kunini nini 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 ameweza ameweza majamaa sasa waanze life pamoja ha 
my people life ilikuwa too smooth unajua msisahau makao alikuwa ni mse dosi shida you know hii maneno ako tu sawa lakini sasa kwa wakamba katika family setup kuna difference mwanaume kazi yake ni fending for the family yeye aende afanye hizo matrade zake aende auze vitu zao kama wale ambayo wamjui wakamba walikuwa poa sana na mambo ya smithing you know hao ndio wale ma iron men walikuwa wapoa sana na mambo ya chuma walikuwa wase wanaweza tengeza out anything from that ni wase pia wa carvings unaona zile mbao nini nini watu saizi wana buy very expensive au bado ni hao wase walikuwa wanajulikana for that apart from honey na mambo na shells and beads pia hao wase walijulikana mambo na herbs He. sasa sisi na wengine wale ambao tulikuwa tunajua tulikuwa tunasema ni uchawi but it is not kitambo walikuwa wanajulikana kuza herbs wanaenda wanatoa wao walikuwa wanaita muti eh wanakuja wanauzia wase nini nini and they were really good so unajua kitambo my friend life ilikuwa ina depend sana na mambo ya herbs so how ni wao wase alafu au bado wacha ni kuambie mtu wangu usiwahi kosea mkamba hiyo time usijaribu kukosea mkamba huyo mkamba ukimukosea utajua they are very good also na kumek poison they are very good at it so what they used to do mm wacha ni washo unaona this stuff eh he ilitoka originally from the kambas this is what they used to use for hunting and they were very good at hunting elephants so unaona hapa hii chuma ikishatengezwa hivi vile mnaona mimi hata naogopa hapa mbele ile kwa poison huyo jamaa kafanya nga wewe hakuna mali unaenda respect mkamba usiibe kwa mkamba hmm. so they were also known for poison making kwa sababu ya arrows na pia it was their way kujikinga so makao alikuwa ameshika ameelewa hii biashara kabisa and was really good at it so the wife she's a newlywed eh hivi hivi kubembelezwa bembelezwa but bado ako na position yake kwa hiyo familia which was to take care of the home kuhakikisha the um, in-laws wamekula vizuri kuhakikisha mzee wake is taken care of by the way kikamba hakuna ati mambo mabaya ya ladies ilikuwa tu you you maintain what is there for your husband ah after like a whole six months eh baraka sema baraka blessings blessings mami ako na ball she's pregnant and tired you know in the kamba society ukichoka like if you're pregnant a woman is not allowed to do hard work anakubaliwa ku rest hata kama kulikuwa na hizo dances za kubaliwa kwenda ku shake shake you know they actually take care of their pregnant women they used to take good care of them so mudeu anabarikiwa ndio huyu ako na kabol kake haya kidogo kidogo i came to know from a certain old mama she told me apparently if you're pregnant eh, you are not allowed to go to a funeral ufai kwa kwa, kwa grave site yeah wana believe una introduce uo mtoto to soro kabla hata hajazaliwa mm -hmm. so ye yeah, kazi yake ilikuwa tu kuka home amke um, apike you know ajiandalie mzee wake hivyo tu she was really good at it Ah makao ndio huyo ako kwa soko it is on Wednesday mangombe zinaenda vitu zinaendelea vizuri eh hey, then there are these people that are coming wanaonekana wanakimbia wanakuja eh kwa soko eh hey, huyu labda anafikiria okay hii ni competition ama but guess what jamaa aniletea good news eh hey, madam delivered yes kulikuwa na ile ululeshon yes it was a boy wacha ni kushow kikamba kama mtu yeye amezaliwa ni kijana ululeshon inakuwa longer so kama ni boy inakuwa kama ni gal alilili you get it yes eh na hiki tu wagan fair kwani kila culture kuna kwanga tuna dem na boy kuna anyways haya kulikuwa na hiyo shamra shamra kulikuwa sasa na ile song tena nimewarudisha kilumi za celebration so there is music there is you know dance kamba dance by the way there is not called music it's called kamba dance so kuna kamba dance inaendelea nini nini these blessings these eh Shamra shamra kelele na ndiremo if you get it now you understand wakaendelea in the african setup again just like in the luya community 
in the Kikuyu community and also in the Maasai community bado mamas will come in swarming in kuja kusaidia kulea huu mtoi. So kuna wale watakuja, wanakuja kukupampa, they are taking care of the kid, they are taking care of you. Weka tu wapo kwanza relax kidogo kidogo mdogo mdogo, you know, paka mtoi ya grow. Wametulia. Jamaa alizaliwa kikamba kuna process mingi sana za nemi lakini ile ambayo nilikuja kujua ndio wanafuata sana haya kiafrika ya, sasa si unajua kubarikiwa na sun ni double blessings alafu kuna daughter the first four kids kwa kila family they are named after the grandparents paternal side na maternal side so huyu saizi amezaliwa atanemiwa kwa grandfather ya sasa kwa grandfather yake yani kwa baba ya makao so ataitwa na jina ya ule mzee unakumbuka eh kamba baba yake alafu next atanemiwa na baba ya msichana i guess mna get the same to the girls alafu sasa kuna watoto wengine au others others wanaemiwa anyhow kuna wale wananemiwa kulingana na weather kuna wale ata, ata, ata nemiwa kulingana na kama ni season gani ni drought ni nini you know things like that so and then kuna zile jina zingine ziko na meaning na zingine hata hazina meaning. Hey, hao walikaa wakaona this is such a blessing. Kijana wa kwanza aliitwa vile ilikuwa inafaa. Wa pili the same. Watatu wakaona eh by the way kwa kila uh, family kuna kuanga na favorite. Huyu that boy ni kama ndiye alikuwa ameguza roho ya baba sana. Wakaona wamuite Mutongoi. Mutongoi in English is leader. So they called him the leader. Mhm. Mtongo ya mezaliwa, celebration celebration miaka inaendelea tunasonga tunasonga. Ha. By the way, ikafika place ni saya mambo na circumcision circumcision ni nini? Kikamba kuna circumcision mbili. Kuna hii ya early age na kuna hii nyingine ya sasa from around age 15 kuendelea. So mtongo was 14 ikafika niyo time ya circumcision kikamba they take a group of boys so mtongoi alienda mtongoi walikuwa wengi kina kilikuwa kulikuwa na mtongoi na wengineo wakateremshwa mpaka mahali wanafaa kwenda kukuwa secluded kuna mahali wanaekwa tu hivi kwanza wa undergo teachings kuna kufunzwa vile ukikuja sasa ukirudi wewe you no longer a boy lazima ujue ku shoot arrows lazima ujue ku take over biashara ya babako nini nini vitu kama hizo so wakapelekwa kwa hiyo it's a hard to kombani mstuni and they sat down for the lessons wakakaa wamefunzwa a week ikafika ni siku ya hiyo siku the dide imefika majamaa wanapelekwa kwa mtu asubuhi hizo siku inaonekana kulikuwa na mito mingi sana eh kwa za unajua sasa hivi tunajua ukambani na mambo ya dry hmm. anyways majamaa wakapelekwa very early in the morning wakatumbukizwa kwa maji this water as i said last time if you have been watching wakati nilikuwa naongelea boss circumcision ya agekoyo unaingizwa kwa hiyo maji na it works as anesthesia yes so ina kunam mm kuja unasimama kwa laini jamani ndio huyo anakuja akipita 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 jamaa do not you know, uweze hata fanya hivi eh mtongoi ni nani alisimama hapo tu hivi ikamaliziwa and he was such a strong guy you know everyone was looking at him and like eh hey, they were proud you know the dad was like hey, that's my son that's my boy yeah tena ndio sisi wakamba na ngoma kilumi 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 sasa hii ni kilumi ya celebration circumcision kuna specific songs for this by the way you can't just say nieke kilumi kilumi you have to be very specific so kuna hizi za circumcision kumechapo 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 wamesindikizwa wamesindikizwa mpaka mahali wanafaa kutena kukaa mpaka wa heal Ah by the way kamba is also circumcised to the women but sasa story ya girls na circumcision ilikuwa hidden kiasi so hakuna there's nothing much to talk about so kuna wale pia wana circumciseiwa ali circumciseiwa of course not the same time na men but it happened as well but sasa hizi wacha upatikane fj mana ni illegal tuachane na hiyo maneno haya jamaa wameenda wame heal poa nini nini ho huko kuna mama na shere shere ah wakarudi home sasa wa in ile time hard now this is where you know kama you are going to be a uh, taking over the business if you're going to be a strong man kama wewe ni wale wa cattle wrestling kama wewe ni wale wa hunt the uh, elephants and everything 
Mtongwe yeah, the forefront. Mtongwe seriously was just a leader from birth. He was really good at it. Alichukua tu over your biashara ya the dad. Alikuwa tu na walk nae every day. Dad akienda, eh, Waarabu nini nini biashara ako hapo. Nini nini he was really good at this. Alafu kafika of course mahali akaona maybe mudheu ameanza kubit bit kiasi akawa mwingine mwikali hivyo hivyo this guy buried three wives so polygamy pia kikamba inakubalika hi my people let me take a sip of water and then we shall be back about so many other things maybe we've not tackled keep it in kaulele Hey my people. After circumcision umerudi nyumbani now you taken over. Jamaa alikuwa tu sawa. Hey, at the age of 19 pia akaona eh mm, anafanze pia life yake sasa family ya settle down ni nini nini. Cuz kila kitu kingine ilikuwa imeshaingiana. But ukumbuke kulikuwa bado na grandparents. Bado alikuwa alive by the way. Hey, wanaendelea kuzeeka. Kina makao pia wanazeeka, the father pia amezeeka, kamba amezeeka poor parents and grandparents hapa wameendelea tukuchapa but life inaendelea uh, around 2 years later after sasa ndiye ameamua na settle and everything and everything eh janga mbaya tu ilitokea wacha ni washo first in the kamba community in case of sickness these people will take care of you unlike the Maasai who will take you and maybe find a way to you know end it fast especially at old age how I say they believed in uh like you'll come back and haunt them yeah so ukikuwa mgonjwa they will take care of you the whole community will be concerned nini nini so kamba is aging ako tu kwa bed you know ana but at least ameona mpaka grandchildren you know so ame relax nini ah wamemshughulikia wamempanga yani ilikataa ilikataa tu age ilikuwa imefika so at the age of 96 bad news spread all over the town ah kamba is no more and he was just asleep and that was the most peaceful death yeah so um this sad news ilingia town mzima and it is the work of the son to panga everything usisahau they have to pay so much respect to their dead uh, grandfather kwa sababu if anything goes amiss he will come back and haunt them by the way hapa ndo utajua yeah wakamba si watu wa so kulikuwa na hizo preparations kitambo wakamba walikuwa wanafanya hizo shallow graves so lazima itengenezwe and then kwa sababu huyu ni mzee lazima azikwe kwa boma hakuna kuzikana nje lazima bado a maintain kwa boma so walikuwa wanazika kwa boma unless mtu a uh, request otherwise wakajipanga lazima pia kuchinjwe bull hakuna kuchinja ngombe tu hivi hivi lazima it is a big bull and that one has to be given by the son or the brothers so imekuja kulikuwa na hiyo sasa hapa the only music that is played ni ile kilumi sad this kilumi yes but it's so low this you know they cannot raise their faces as they are doing the kilumi dance the, the, this particular one lazima mka hivi to pay respect to the dead so watoto wamesimama hapo they were paying respect to their grandfather mtongoi yako hapo tu na familia yake you know makao is also aging they paid their respects and that was the end of that it was such a sad story because kamba was their origin like that was the dad jamaa wakarudi home just after the whole ceremony kumekuwa na hiyo ngombe ime sacrificeiwa the bull that was changed wamerudi nyumbani hiyo next day morning the whole family ha- they had to shave Ah wase lazima unyonyoli that's the matter nyola kulikuwa refu wa jama ni nini this symbolizes the dead when you cut the hair like they shave hiyo ni ile sasa past imepita so the the hair like kind of goes with that person when they die and then the growing hair sasa hiyo ni rebirth so that's how they do it so lazima wote wa shave waanze life upya <sighs> well remember mutongo is the third born but was a favorite son of Makao. So yeye yeah, ndiye alikuwa ameanza sasa kuteka over zile biashara zingine zote za kamba the dad the grandfather na sasa anashikilia pia responsibility za nani za Makao. Ah, oh, my people. I know you're looking at me and thinking, then what? Then what next? Ah uh-uh. ah. Wewe, si unajua bali wa kamba wako. 
Machakos, Makueni, Kitui. Story bado ni mob. Lakini, because I want to make sure you come back next time and watch, I will leave you right there with a lot of suspense. But the Kamba story just begins. Keep it in Kaulele and until next time, Kenya, we are one. Thank you.